Stars, star your engines! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Bora Monster Energy IROC Series Season 2, race number 2, this time from Atlanta. 10 cars on pole. You have your Call of Duty Cup Series Season 5 champion, Nick Flood, and to his outside is your Trexas Truck Series Season 2 champion, Xavier Irons. Did I say Season 2 for Cup? It's Season 5. I think yeah, Donovan Dewitt and Adam Akers. Bulla Bill and Tyler Kayser, Jeff Bright, Mo Akers, Alexander Rowe, and your Daytona winner, Max Anderson. This is 17 laps from Atlanta. Lord knows how many lead changes we will be having today. Uh, I think that's basically it. Max Anderson comes into today with a five point lead over both Donovan Dewitt and Bullet Bill. Once again, Donovan Dewitt second in points. It's like his um his fate. But Green Flag is out. 17 laps. Nate Nate Nick Flood leads them. And I want to apologize for how late this race is going up. Yesterday was Thanksgiving. Hopefully everyone, all of you had a good Thanksgiving. If you're not American, hopefully you had a good day at school or work or whatever it was. But America. Uh, so yeah, couldn't record yesterday. I felt like I was going to die because of all the food I ate. Okay, look like I was having... I am. Why is the frame rate dipping so low? Either way... Uh, and then today was Black Friday, and I went out and bought an Xbox One just because. So, yeah, it's actually 5 p.m. right now as I'm recording this, and that's really bad. I was supposed to record, like, Wednesday night because I knew I'd be busy the next couple days. But nonetheless, we are coming to lap three now. Mo Akers looking to the inside of Nick Flood. We got some bad frame rate on the front stretch last lap. Ooh, I thought I was going to set all this out. I'm not going to worry about that, though. In the dual race at Daytona for the College of Cup Series at the beginning of the season, I was having bad frame rate in the second race, and I kept focusing on it, and it took away from the racing. So if it does dip, I'm not exactly sure why. But, I mean, if it gets too bad, I'll obviously redo the race. But I'm not going to focus on it much longer. Bullet Bill to the lead. Xavier Irons, who started second, has worked his way back up to second. Going to the inside of Bullet Bill here for the lead. Ooh, Alexander Rowe in the two is going to take it three wide. Oops. Jeff Wright here. Ooh, Bullet Bill actually got up in the marbles. Lucky that car didn't sail right into the wall. One thing I want to quickly notice, uh, you can't really tell when they're side by side for second. <laughs> it's now Max Anderson, your Daytona winner. Three by three. This ain't Daytona, guys. Calm it down. But whenever they're single file, one thing's interesting to note. The guy in the lead has arrow push instead of the guy in second, which is totally not right. Like right there, he said the 84 can't really run the bottom, and the 5 can, even though he's literally right behind him, so he has no um, air on his on his nose, so the car should push up the track. But he can get right down there by the apron while the leader can't, and it's not exactly the most realistic thing, but for some reason, he can't get by Max Anderson. Coming to lap 6 to 17, we're not past halfway yet, but this is not a long race. Um, these guys are going to have to go and go quick. Oh, he might have gave the 84 a little touch there. I don't know if he got close or if he just literally pushed him up with the air. Took the air off his spoiler. But either way, the five car with a pretty good move. Here comes little brother Mo Akers now behind. And Xavier Irons back to the bottom and second car on the bottom now. Lap 7 of 17. Mo Akers to the lead. Xavier Irons going to make a really risque move trigging underneath it'll work he went out and blocked xavier irons tyler kayser in that yellow car of high nearly nicking the wall there off turn two jeff bright now going for the lead alexander rowe will he make it three wide for the lead again he did that earlier he's getting pushed by your pole sitter nick flood we almost turned him as alexander rowe got onto the flat part of the straightaway down by the grass looks like 29 might have gave him a little push there Nick Flood back to the lead. We have now have nine and a half laps to go. <clears throat> Excuse me. Three wide for the lead going into turn three. Bullet Bill to the top spot. Tyler Kayser probably not going to let him hold on to that for too long. And the 77 once again having something similar as the last lap for whoever it was at the time. I think it's Alexander Rowe. Kind of got bumped as they went on the flat. Car got a little loose on him. That actually helps out the outside lane when that happens because it stacks up the bottom. Bullet Bill was able to somewhat contend, but you just got to be on the bottom here. It's not like Daytona where you could have written the outside for whatever reason. Here today, the inside lane, you got to ride or die by the inside. Adam Akers will lead that lap. Max Anderson, your uh, points leader, back up to second. Ooh, just 
saying I ain't dealing with your crap, Adam. He passed Adam the way Adam passed him much earlier. Mo Aker's going to take it three wide on his Call of Duty Premier Series teammate and older brother. Alexander Rowe has a history of making passes for the late off turn four. Lap 11 of 17. Xavier Iron's going to make it three wide for the lead. With Alexander Rowe and Mo Akers, here comes Nick Flood yet again. I think right now, you want to be taking the lead, so that way you lose the lead and you can be back up there battling on the inside by like lap 15, 16. Not even, I'd say 17. You don't want to be... You want to be right now our bullet bill is coming to the white flag. He has that brownish car on the bottom. Second car on the bottom. You do not want to take the lead too early. And unfortunately, taking it off turn four coming to the white flag is too early. So we're coming to five laps to go. Bullet bill with the lead. Donovan do it. Oh, man. Tyler Kayser nearly dumping Max. Yeah, Max Anderson. The 84, that could have been bad. That probably would have taken out half the field. Five laps to go. Donovan do it to the top spot. Here comes Adam Akers. We've talked about Adam Akers at Daytona. His situation, we're not going to do it again. We'll briefly go over. He's ran in every season of Bora, any of the series. He's never won on an oval. He's won one F1 race. That's a road course, obviously. And he won the IROC Series Championship last year without ever winning on an oval in any of the series. So could today be the day he finally breaks through? He's got younger brother Mo Akers there. Mo could not successfully block the two of Alexander Rowe. Bullet Bill trying something different going to the very outside. Here comes Xavier Irons with help from Max Anderson. Right now, I think I'd want to be where Bullet Bill is yet again. Still dropping to the back. Oh boy, three wide for the lead. It was almost four wide. Luckily, the 84 hold held on. Ooh, Xavier Irons about to drive him to the grass. Three laps to go. Yeah, right now you'd want to be where Bullet Bill is, as he almost just dumped Jeff Bright. Nick Flood now going to the lead, bringing Tyler Kayser with him. Coming to two laps to go. Who is in the Catbird seat? Is it Catbird or Catberg? I don't know. But who is in the Cat whatever seat? Two laps to go. Tyler Kayser going for the lead. All right, someone kept trying to ask me a question while I was recording, so I apologize for that moment of silence. I guess you can dedicate that to Harambe. Anyways, Jeff Bright leading, coming to the white flag. Bullet Bill is in the exact position I said I would want to be if I was him five laps ago. White flag one to go. Donovan Dewitt's making the move. Who's the third car on the bottom? Alexander Ruro, he might be in the position. Ooh, guys, they're shuffling on the outside. Oh, Bullet Bill held on to it. What's Donovan do it going to do here? Can he do it? He finished second at Daytona. It's going to be a drag race off turn number four. Who's going to win? It's going to be a photo finish. I don't know. The Bullet Bill just won that to the thousandth of a second. Before we go look at your official results, I want to see how close that was. That was absolutely insane. Putting this thing in slow-mo. Donovan do it, having help with his uh, Bora teammate, Alexander Rowe in the two. I might have slowed it down a little too early, but here we go. Wow. That is insane. I don't really know what view to look at. Just look at this. That is insane. Let's go look at your official results here. That was three thousandths of a second. Bullet Bill wins it. Donovan do it second. Alexander Rowe third. Adam Akers fourth. Tyler Kayser fifth. Uh, Max Anderson, your Daytona winner, down to sixth. Uh, Mo Akers seventh. Jeff Brett eighth. Xavier Irons ninth. Nick Flood tenth. Oh my gosh, three thousand. That might be the closest finish in Bora history. I think the previous one was the Call of Duty Cup Series Season 4 at Phoenix between Xavier, or not Xavier, between uh, uh, Kyle Keese and Isaiah Ford. I think that was six thousandths of a second. Let me know if you guys happen to know. I don't. I doubt any of you will, but if you happen to know what the closest Bora finish is, please let me know. There's a couple of them that come to mind, but man, congratulations to Bullet Bill. I think that's his first uh, IROC Series win, so that's pretty dope. He's your all-time wins leader in the Call of Duty Premier Series. 
man, Donovan do it. Second straight, second place finish, and this one has to sting. He got it in a tie, or not a tiebreaker, but three thousandths of a second. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. He said, boy, can you make fans stand to scream your name? Have you hit him in the ass, never let off the gas till you rode into victory lane? He said, boy, do you know how it feels when you're running three wide? Cause if you daytona bound, let me wonder you're in for.